Designs here, and today we have another tutorial. Uh, you guys really liked the last one. Um, of course, that design was not my unbelievably best design, but you know, I tried to give you guys a basis of what you were trying to look for. Now, today I've been getting a lot of requests for people that like this style. Of what this style is, it's basically a 3D text inside of Photoshop, and it's like I um, almost like a perspective feel to it. Now, in art, for people that don't know, um, if you take drawing, everything in drawing, to make things feel real life, everything needs to be, you know, on some sort of perspective. Um, it's got to come, you know, when you look down a, uh, what's it called, like a train, tr you know, train tracks, they get smaller as they get, you know, as they, they kind of go inwards, like, you know, to colliding. Uh, which is actually not really, I mean, that's how we, per, you know, we perceive it, but it's not really what's happening. It's just how we look at it, which is basically in our eyes, real life. So in this, this is just kind of how you can get that text feel on uh, manipulations, banners, and stuff like that. I've been doing a lot of it. Um, I'll show you guys a quick preview of one of them that I did, I did for one of my friends, uh, Nicole. So, and I've done for a few other customers who really, they uh, really, really like it, but uh, here's just a little, here, I'll show you guys this one. Something really cool like this kind of gives it like a different feel to it, almost like you're looking down at the text. Really, really nice look, and I, uh, you know, you can make really, really cool stuff with it. I can't wait to see what people do with it. But anyways, I'm just kind of go through how I, um, how I do it. Now, there's many ways to do it. I know there's plugins to even do it for you, but what we're just going to start off fresh here. I just have this in the background just so you guys can see what's going on. Um, now, before we get into this, I do want to say thank you very much for 41,000 subscribers, and we're going to keep trying to grow. Um, I'm going to try to upload as many times as I possibly can, uh, starting this week, um, because, you know, I've noticed that Twitter really isn't, um, where I got my, my push. YouTube really is where it is, and, you know, I really need to focus on where I came from, so... You guys really make me want to do this all the time. So if you guys can like and favorite and, you know, like this shit and comment all that stuff out of this video, that'd be awesome. Uh, anyways, we're going to get started. Now, in my recommendation, uh, really any font works. I mean, you can use whatever the hell you want. Um, but from what I like to do, I like to use blockier fonts just for the, you know, for the fact that, uh, actually, I think we're going to use this one, but, you know, just for the fact that it, it's nicer look and, you know, oh, okay, it, we're just, it, it looks nicer in my opinion. Actually, we're not going to use that just for the fact that R is closed and I want to really give you guys a depth perception. Um, we're just going to use this one. So for the font, if you guys want to know, it's called Liberator. It's, all, it's the US, UFC font. Um, I'm going to make it a really big one, too. So I want to really get you guys, you know, your eyes onto what's actually happening. So you can start on the white text and do whatever you want, because we're going to put a layer style on it, so it doesn't really matter. So here's the text for you guys. And the first thing you're going to want to do is rasterize it. Now, the, I, I can't stress, start out with a bigger text than what you're actually going to use, because th there is going to be some shrinking we're going to do. Um, so anyways, we're going to, basically, we're, we're going to go to Edit, Transform, and Perspective. Now, the perspective, uh, you can do it, this also works in any different types of perspective. Um, it just works, um, it, it, you can do it any way you want. It's all by the arrow keys. So I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it a different way, but you can do it in any other way you possibly want. Uh, so what we're going to do here is I'm going to pull this back. Ooh. Or actually, I accidentally hit Command T again. Sorry. And we're gonna go to perspective, and I'm gonna pull this back this way, and I'm gonna pull this like that. Or wait, actually, we're gonna do that way, and pull it back as well. Now, as you guys can see, the the edge after you're done with your perspective, you can just hit Enter, whatever. And as you guys can see with the perspective, um, it kind of blurs the edges, and that's completely fine. That's exactly why I'm gonna tell you guys to do this. Shrink it a little bit gives it that crisp feel again. If not, you can go right back in with a pen tool and you guys can crisp that thing up, you know, add fills and stuff like that. Whatever floats your boat. Do whatever you want. But here's where the tricky part is. Your keyboard's going to be your best friend here. Um, you're going to want to hit Command-J or Control-J and it's going to make a copy. 
and you're going to want to use your mouse, or not your mouse, your arrow keys on your keyboard, and you're going to want to go down one and to the left one. And you're going to keep making copies, and you're going to go down one to the left one, each copy. And what this does is, if I had to recommend a copy, you know, a mount, I'd say anywhere between 10 and 15 is enough. Uh, what it does is, is it gives you guys a depth perception. Now, of course, if you go on, and, and of course, you're going to want to merge all your copies. You want to leave your original one there. It'll just say rated instead of rated copy. You're going to merge all your copies. And the reason is because you're not going to really want to be looking at, you're going to want to have two separate things. You're going to have your depth, and you're going to want to have your top part where we can, you know, scoot around it. So once you have that, your depth perception can be as deep as it wants. It really doesn't matter. Um, you can go as far, but I mean, it's just gonna keep, you can keep going down and down. It doesn't really matter. Um, different ways. And what we're going to do here is we can do any different color we possibly want. Um, me, I like sticking with white because personally, it's just an easier color for me to do. Um, and I usually go with dark up top and pretty, you know, lighter on the bottom. Uh, we're going to add a drop shadow, and because it's coming from top left to bottom right, we're going to just go about 20 spread, 10 size, and we're just going to pull that down to about 35%. It just gives it a lift feel. And after that, you're going to want to go to your depth, and we're going to do another gradient. Now, you know, personally, I like using a gradient like this and, you know, making a dark top again and a darker bottom. And the reason is because it still gives it that depth perception, but you know it's a darker feel to it. Uh, you can reverse it; really doesn't matter. That looks cool too. It doesn't really. It's all by eye. Um, whatever makes you guys, you know, feel cooler about it. Whatever it doesn't matter. Um, and then I like to add grunge to it. Uh, so of course, if you guys have grunge brushes, or if, you, if you, you know, feel free. <laughs> uh, basically, you're just going to want to merge these two. I believe, you know, merge your top and your bottom once you're done. I mean, and then you're going to want to just add some grunge brushes onto it. Um, actually, we're going to add like 35%, you know, that type of stuff. I like to just keep merging it down just for the, you know, fact of I don't like clutter. So I don't want these things to be editable also because I'm going to probably, you know, base stuff off of this. So, I mean, after you have something like that, you can add a drop shadow to the whole thing. Um, the drop shadow, you don't want it to be a violent drop shadow. Uh, so, for instance, there I see a lot of people doing this, and it's hideous. Don't do that. It's horrible. I would just do maybe 20 spread, 20 size, 50 size maybe, and then just pull it down to about 35 spread. And it kind of just gives it that gentle, like, you know, feel to it. And that's perfect. And that's exactly what you're going to want. Um, another thing that a lot of people do is they like to add gloss to it. Another thing that um, is a big thing. You just kind of make a over or a uh, clipping mask, make a curve around it, and just kind of switch it to overlay and move it down to about 25%. And it kind of just gives it another gloss, kind of gives it the feel of more of a 3D feel. Now, of course, everybody is always like, ah, oh, Cinema 4D, that's the better 3D. For exactly, it depends on what you want. Uh, this is a better thing for professional banners. Um, I'll do another one real quick. Uh, this would just be the actual vertical one. This one's the most basic you have possible. And uh, I'm not going to probably commentate this one, but you know, you're just going to want to, of course, pull this back. Maybe this a little bit. Usual. Make it copy. And this is just straight down. You know, I'm pulling this straight down. And this one I usually do about 15, 16 copies just because I really want to show that depth. Uh, once again, go to your gradients. Uh, we'll do a color for this one. like that and you can kind of do something like that and then add this uh, drop shadow and just 
kind of give it a 3D feel to it. We're actually going to make this. And that's honestly what it is. I mean, it's very simple, um, very easy. And it's just 3D text, boys. I mean, boys and girls, it's <laughs> it looks awesome. I mean, I'll show you guys another one um, that I, I actually designed for a... I don't remember the exact... I, I don't think it was a... Uh, customer of mine, but I don't think they'll care. Um, here's another one. Uh, it's very, it's just very eye, eye appealing. Um, you guys can definitely tell that. But uh, once again, guys, I really do appreciate everything you guys have possibly done for me over the times of me being here, my ups and downs. So thank you guys very much. And let's get, you know, let's try to get at least 200 likes on this video because I really think this is a really helpful tutorial. And um, if we get 200 likes, I will throw up another video on Tuesday. So really um, appreciate everything. And uh, rate, comment, subscribe, like the shit out of this video. And I'm ready, guys. Deuces.